Wow, it's so big. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ramon and welcome back to RC Modify. In today's video, we have an exciting project lined up for you. We will be starting with a custom vinyl wrap from Darkseid Studios. That is gonna go on a brand new clear body. We're gonna actually paint the body black to avoid um, any other colors showing through the seams. I also ordered the latching system, brackets and retainers that go along with the body. So for this you need the body plus four other part numbers which I will list down in the description. I really can't wait to show you guys the process and the final result. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Riley's Deals, which gave me an awesome deal on this brand new X-Max, plus all the parts required for this build. I first discovered him on eBay, and I started purchasing through eBay, and we kind of cut out the middleman, and I go through Facebook now. I usually just message him when I need something. I tell him exactly what I need, and nine times out of ten, he beats everybody else's prices. So I will put his information down in the description. And if you guys want to reach out to him, go right ahead. You can mention my name, but um, he usually beats everybody's deals. So I definitely recommend them. I bought, I don't know how many trucks already from him, trucks and parts uh, this year, probably um, too many. I don't want to mention it. I might get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about the star of the show. We have here a custom vinyl wrap from Dark Side Studio Arts. I will bring the camera over closer, or maybe I'll just walk it over to the camera. <laughs> It'll be easier. I won't have to set it up again. But this is the wrap. This wrap is called Ruckus. And I have the oil spill effect on it. And actually, if you see right there, Jared from... Dark Side Studios put my name and my channel on the wrap, so that'll be on the back window. Jared from Dark Side Studio Arts, Arts went far and beyond by personalize, personalizing it for me. Um, I love their attention to detail and their um, excellent customer service. So um, I highly recommend them. The material that they use is it's nice and thick. It looks like a really good quality wrap. I'm really excited to get this on. Okay, let's go over the parts list. Okay, so this big pile of parts is what we need to do this project. Uh, this is, we already saw the wrap. Um, we have a brand new stock body. It's clear. That is part number 7711. It comes with nothing. No brackets, no retainers, nothing. So... If you want to be able to have a display body and a body for bashing, then you're going to have to buy all your brackets. So that's what I did. I want to um, take care of the body that I'm wrapping, and this body will be for play. So the top brace that goes across the inside, that is part number 7713X. Your latching mechanism is part 7715. You also need, you also need, which I didn't realize, I don't even know why they didn't include it with the, with the top brace, but you need part number 7710, which are your body retainers. There are these pieces here. And in the back, where your roll bar mounts up to, I don't see why they include those. Those things are literally not even a quarter. Um, but you have to buy them separate. So that is a whole other part number, 7710. And you also need your tailgate protector right here. And that is part number 7712. I'm going to list these out. So you need a body and four part numbers in order to have a spare body. I'm going to be painting that with um, Duratrax Basic Black. And the tires I'm using are, you need two bags of them, but they are part number 7773. 
And these are the Traxxas pedal tires. So, um, pretty much everything I'm using is Traxxas. I will be replacing the, the battery connectors. Shh, don't tell Traxxas. <laughs> That's automatically, automatically voiding of the warranty. But, all the batteries I have, um, and batteries are very expensive, but all the batteries I have use different connectors. I am not going to buy Traxxas batteries just to run this thing. Um, okay, so next thing to do here is I have to go um, prep the body, clean it, dry it, and paint it. All right, I'll be back after I get done painting the body. See you shortly. All right, while the paint's drying, I figured you guys might want to see some side-by-sides. I know probably a lot of you guys have already seen these trucks side-by-side, -side, but this is the first time I'm ever seeing an X-Max, and I just got back into the hobby about two years ago. So this is my first time seeing an X-Max in person. A while back, I had a T-Max, and I'm talking a while back. <laughs> I can't even tell you how long that was. But um, basically, here is my... Creighton, one fifth scale Creighton, and I think they call the X Max a one six scale. I'm not positive. It doesn't say it on the box, but I think it's supposed to be a six scale. Um, the Creighton is three inches wider. The X Max is two and a half inches taller. The wheelbase on the Creighton is slightly longer, maybe half inch. Um, but yeah, that's them side by side. Uh, I think um, the Creighton looks more like a competitor for the, what is it, the XRT. Uh, just because of the more of a truggy style. And the uh, X-Max is more of a monster truck style. All right, let's get the Outcast. <laughs> okay, so here's the Outcast and the X-Max. The X-Max is about an inch taller than the Outcast. Now, the wheelbase on the X-Max is longer than the Outcast, almost by, I measured it, it seemed to be about two inches. Lengthwise, I think the X-Max is two inches longer as well. It's kind of hard to tell because you have the, the wings that stick out in the back of the Outcast. Same thing with the Creighton. The Creighton, even though it has the much bigger wing than the then the X-Max, which has none, they still seem to be almost the same in length. But Outcast, X-Max. Tell you one thing, the X-Max is a little nicer to carry than the, than the Armas. <laughs> now this was a surprise to me. The Arma Mojave's body is about the same size as the X-Max. Actually, let's try to see if it even fits. Look at that for a makeover. You can stick an Arm Mojave body on an X-Max chassis. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. Um, here, let's do a side view so you can actually see what it looks like. Look at that with some um some body post. That'd be a sweet looking rig. You might have to actually um open up the wheel wells a little bit, but as far as um size wise, it's uh yeah as far as size wise, that would be a cool truck. That thing looks sick. Don't tell nobody I did this. It might get confiscated. <laughs> right. Okay, hopefully by now the paint's dry. Let's get to um, getting that wrap on that body. All right, so I thought I was going to be able to paint this thing and get right to wrapping. But I'm on day two. You're going to need at least two cans of um, paint to paint this body. It's a very large body. It takes a lot of paint. And I know that the wrap is going to cover most of the body, but... Um, I could still see daylight through a lot of spots, and I just didn't want to do it that way. But 
Now we're gonna, now that the body's painted, we're gonna remove the plastic film. Please do not <laughs> put your wrap on top of the plastic film. You're gonna hate yourself. So we're gonna remove the plastic film and we are going to, we're gonna rewash the body to make sure there's no oils or any residues left on it from the plastic film. And also that's a good time to get your hands really clean and really degreased before you start the process. Uh, as you guys can see here, I got my tools that I'm gonna need. I have a squirt bottle, I have Dawn in there. I have a felt tip squeegee. I have an X-Acto knife to start peeling the graphics off the paper backing. I have a heat gun, which we're definitely gonna need. Very important tool. And I have a microfiber towel just in case I need to wipe anything up. Aside from that, you want to make sure that your room is at least 75 degrees. It's gonna keep the material pliable. All right, let's get this, um, let this get this uh, plastic film off this body. And um, maybe I'll throw it on the truck so you guys can see what it looks like with all black. And then we will start wrapping. Now I painted the windows and everything on this body since you are provided in the graphics, you do have windows which you can use or the body does come with Tractus already um, window stickers which you can choose to apply or you do get also you get the, the window mask which if you wanted to have clear windows you can do that as well. I figured there's no interior in this truck so since there is no interior there's nothing to see inside so I figured I'm just gonna leave them black or they're gonna be covered up anyway though yeah look at the difference when you um paint these and remove the film <laughs> if you guys aren't experienced with um <laughs> painting bodies at first when you first paint it you have so much overspray on the film and everything it looks doesn't look too good, doesn't look too impressive, but man, once you peel off the plastic, it's absolutely gorgeous. So don't get discouraged when you're painting. Don't think your paint job is coming out bad. Just um, go ahead, wait to the end. Make sure you have an even coverage inside. And um, guarantee you that when you pull off that plastic, you're gonna be more than happy. I'm gonna have to wipe my table down again because I, I wanna make sure that there is nothing left behind from little plastic pieces or something that can work their way underneath the underneath the vinyl wrap. So I mean it's very important to have a very clean area. Well another tip is um make sure you have a dedicated sponge. Grab a brand new sponge to clean your bodies. You don't want to use the same sponge that you're using for the dishes to clean your body. Sometimes there's oils from um from foods on those sponges so you definitely do not want to use that because um, it can hinder your results <laughs> make sure you inspect your body once you remove all the plastic because when you do get little paint flakiness along those edges from where the body was sandwiched between the paint and the film so you want to make sure all that's clean or it's going to end up underneath your wrap. But wow, that looks beautiful. Just in straight black. <laughs> it's kind of a shame we're going to cover it up. All right, I'm going to um, pick up this mess. Gonna wipe down this table. Gonna wash the body one more time. Okay, the body's washed. I did not bother drying it since we're only gonna spray it with soapy water anyway when we're applying the wrap. So, but I brought the truck over. So you guys ever wondering what a blacked out X-Mac would look like? Here goes. <laughs> Now, I don't have the brackets on here, so it's just going to sit on top. But there's all black body on the X Max. 
This is what it would look like. Shiny black body. I think it looks pretty damn good. Give this from behind. Don't want to lose the truck. <laughs> and there is a top view. Alright, so that's what a black body would look like on an X-Max. I think it looks pretty damn good. I do love the green body. It's kind of like a love and hate. I am not sure if I like the graphics. They kind of remind me of mountains, which I like mountains, but I'm not sure if I want them on my truck. But I like the combination of the green and the shocks. That's kind of why on the wrap, you will see the ruckus wrap. I have just lots of pops of green in there, which are going to go great with the shocks. Okay, I, I will actually be posting the link of um, Jared doing an actual wrap because I am no expert. I'm going off his directions. The only experience I have with wrapping is I helped my friend Anthony with a, <laughs> a couple times just um, with some pieces on his Cadillac CTSV and on his Mini Cooper. So I give him a hand with that, but I am no expert in wrapping. So um, if I do a good job at this, that means you probably can do a good job at this because this is my first time actually really doing a wrap. So uh, let's see how it goes. But I will include uh, a link of Jared doing a wrap in his studio. And he's pretty awesome. So I'll include that along with his site details. He does have wraps for bolts which I did order a wrap for a bolt which I don't know when I'll be doing that because I have to get more black paint but I have a bolt that I'm doing uh, blackjack 24 um, I have a 42 but I haven't decided what I wanted to do on the blackjack 42 yet but I want to see how the wrap holds up in the water on the 24 before I go wrapping everything else all right let's get started I'm actually going to wear my reading glasses for this. <laughs> okay, I'm starting with the sides first. Starting on my side. I'll rotate it as soon as I get it applied. I am going to use the wet method because I want it to be as forgiving as possible. So let's spray her down. <laughs> Try not to wet your heat gun. You don't want to electrocute yourself. Also dry your hands off when you go to use your heat gun. Start sticking too much, you could apply more water. See? Don't go crazy with the heat. Um, you don't want to distort your body or your wrap. So um, be careful when you're applying heat. With this oil spill material, it's really easy to actually see where your bubbles are. And once you apply, it goes on pretty stiff, but once you apply heat to it, it becomes really pliable. I'm finding it, sorry, <laughs> I'm finding it easier to use your fingers instead of the squeegee, especially with all the different contours on this body. But I'm using my thumb to rub it out, um, to rub the bubbles out and any creases well not creases but sort of mild creases um, using my thumb and it's working out pretty good so far that's what it's looking like for any of you guys ever considering wrapping your own car your real life car well you could practice an RC body first see how you um, enjoy the experience see if it's something you think you can tackle then go for it I think that looks pretty good so I'm gonna move on to the other side and then I'll come back and inspect this side let me see if I can see that a little better another thing is you guys if you guys are interested in doing something like this you guys can start off with uh, something easier with flat panels um, there are wraps I think for some of the axial crawlers like the Capra or the Rift 
So you can start off with something like that. It's flat panels. It should be a really simple wrap. And then move on from there. I decided to go with this since um, I used to do a lot of model cars. So I've done a lot of decals. So I figured, how bad can it be? <laughs> okay, I wet the body and the graphic. That way it's extra slippery. If you go ahead and stick it on your dry, it's not going to be able to move around as much. Like I said, it's extra slippery. <laughs> I'm finding this oil oil spill material very um, forgiving to work with. I was a little bit intimidated at first. Um, sometimes with some vinyl wraps, if they're thin, they feel like they're going to tear. But this stuff is really thick. And um, once you apply heat, it becomes really pliable. And it's very easy to work with. There's the other side. That is looking um, pretty, pretty sweet. <laughs> I have to keep on wiping the table because I don't want to, you know, got a metal table here and uh, pretty much a hair dryer <laughs> and water. So um, <laughs> you guys are watching the video to see if I end up getting um, <laughs> my ass shocked, but hopefully not. <laughs> Okay. For the front fenders, line up the front and the back and then worry about the center part because there are seams in the center part where you'll be able to adjust and tuck. Um, but being that the front goes around the lights, you have a little less play there. The little pieces are easy to get on. careful with peeling off the hood that's when you really need your exacto knife there is little pieces of material in between some of the cuts that you kind of want to hold down if you go rushing it um, not sure what's gonna happen hopefully nothing but but um, you don't want to damage your material I would say first with your hood piece line up your screw holes and go from there All right, I'm going to continue wrapping and bring you guys on to the finished product when it's done because it's just going to be more of the same and it's kind of like watching paint dry. So as soon as I'm done, I'll throw the new wheels on the truck and we'll do the presentation of the body. So hang tight. Okay, so the body's wrapped. We are going to throw the tires on this and show you what this thing looks like. I am not going to put the roll bars on you quite yet because... I am still waiting for the retainers for the roll bars. Like I said, you need four different parts to have a spare body that you could just clip on and clip off. So, so it's gonna look the same pretty much. It just won't have the roll bars, but I don't wanna drag this video out. I wanna show you guys what this thing looks like and I think it's pretty awesome. I will have to go back over um, over the next couple days and um, and watch my seams and probably reheat them up because it's kind of part of the process. Jared actually recommends you letting the body sit out in the sun to allow the moisture and all to get out from underneath the vinyl. It's normal with vinyl if you've ever done vinyl wrap on a car. And also, you're not going to get exactly 
perfect. So don't drive yourself nuts because if you actually look at a real, at a full size vinyl, um, vinyl wrapped car, it's never perfect. And with the seams and everything on a smaller scale body, it's going to be a little bit tougher. So um, don't beat yourself up. I think it looks amazing. I love it. So let's get on to the review. Okay, so here's the truck before. Here's the side view. And here's the truck after. And voila. Here's the Traxxas X-Max clear body, painted black with the Dark Side Studio Arts Ruckus wrap with the oil spill option and the Traxxas paddle tires for the X-Max. So here it is, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is wild looking. At the end of this video, I will give a close up. The body isn't fastened at the moment because like I said, I still need the retainers for the roll bars, but I do have the roll bars and the locking me mechanism. So I just need the retainers, but this thing is wild looking. So I actually went with the Dark Side Studios window films that came with the wrap. Um, I like the artwork, so I, want it, I, I don't mind it on the windows. Um, there's my name in the back and my YouTube channel. But if you want the Traxxas windows, the body does come with them. And you can actually, it comes with a grill and your window films and your headlamps. But I tell you in the oil spill finish, in the oil spill finish, your headlamps and taillights look a lot better. I prefer them. They, they look way better. But like I was saying earlier, now that it's wrapped, you have to let the body finish curing. You have to let the wrap finish curing. You have to go back and touch up your seams. Uh, you might have to heat up some spots and push it down to make sure it seats and sticks properly. Um, took me probably three hours to wrap it. Uh, I don't think that's bad because um, what you get is <laughs> you get this. So, and... And over on Dark Side Studios, there's a lot of different graphics, uh, really cool stuff. Like I said, I I did buy a um, he he did a Blackjack 24 in Need for Speed, so I got the Need for Speed wrap with the honeycomb effect. So I have that already, but I need paint and time to uh, paint a boat and apply the wrap. But I am gonna leave. You guys, the information for Dark Side Studios in the description. I will leave a link to one of his videos wrapping this truck um, so that you guys can see the process from him. I will also give you the information for Riley's deals. Uh, if you guys want to save some money, uh, buy your stuff from Riley. Also, that, that Mojave body looks good on the on the X-Max as well. So anybody wants to try to put a Mojave body on there, that'll look pretty sick. Okay, let's get this on my uh, rotating table so we can um, get a closer look at this. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that close-up. Man, this thing is reflective. I can't wait to see this thing out in the sun. Um, I love it. But, like I said, I have other projects coming up. Uh, one of the things I have coming up is, is I bought, I bought a Losi Bajare slider. And I have, um, 
I have, um, I'm probably going to throw on Dumont tires on that. Um, I have the, the front Dumont paddle tires, which are only half ribbed. <laughs> um, talking about tires here. But here's the slider. I bought this slider off eBay. And um, I'm really excited to, um, to actually build this truck. And the motor I'm going to stick in that is... The motor I'm going to stick in that is this 4274, 3800, no, 3600 kV motor. And I think stock, it comes with a 3600 kV motor. But I know that the motor is a shorter motor. So um, I don't know what size stock, but I know it's definitely smaller than this. So I'm going to squeeze this motor in there. It barely fits. And I'm going to run this thing on 4S. It should rip. It should be faster than stock. Um, being that stock, they only run these things on 3S. So I'm probably going to stick uh, 150 amp ESC in this since the stock one comes with 130 amps. But yeah, this I'm really excited to build. And I am going <laughs> to beat the piss out of this after I build it. So I'm really excited about this truck. So uh, besides that, I still have um, my drag cars to build. I have, I just picked up another Limitless, so now I have four Limitless. Still haven't decided what I'm doing with either of them. Uh, one's actually already built. The other ones, I don't know, I'm probably going to build one as a dual motor. I was thinking of possibly doing the, throwing the Mojave arms on another to turn it into a buggy. But when I compared it to the Team Corrali, the wheelbase is probably only about half inch to an inch longer. And I'm not really sure if it's worth it. I already have the, the Suga from Team Corrali. So I don't think that. And also the ground clearance might, might not be as good. So I might not do that. I might just turn them on to speed cars. But like I said, I have um, my drag cars to build. Um... I still have to build my Arlo, Arlo AK-917s. I'm still waiting for my second shipment of those to come in. Because um, I bought way too many. <laughs> but guys, I have a lot of exciting stuff. Sorry my videos haven't been coming out sooner. Been really busy with work and with allergies. <laughs> <laughs> These allergies kicking in the springtime. You don't feel like doing anything. But um, I have a lot coming up. A lot of great builds and I am um, trying to work on my editing and get better at this. So please keep on coming back. Keep on watching. I appreciate you guys and see you guys next time. Bye.